Hi, and welcome to this video on UiPath with me, Yebe. This is the second video of two in a series about uh, Action Center. And if you didn't watch the first one, you can skip it. But if you want the basics, you should go back and watch that. And I will uh, leave a link at the bottom of the screen. But uh, otherwise, let's get to it. So what we did in the first video was we prompted the user to enter the name of a band. That band name would then be submitted into a form task where another user would give that band a rating, ranking from horrible to so-so and good and great. And once that user had completed the task by submitting the rating, the rating would be returned to the automation and displayed to the original user. So in this video, we're going to expand a little bit on what we did in the first one. We'll take a look at action catalogs or task catalogs. We'll take a look at what an action result is. And finally, we'll try to assign tasks to specific users. So if you remember from the first video, we had this create form task activity. And inside that, we had some uh, different properties. And one of them was the task catalog property. And we didn't use that in the first video. So what is a task catalog? Well, it's really just a category that you can assign to a task. And what that will do is when you go into Orchestrator, you will, in this catalog column here, you will get a designation and you can use that to sort your tasks on. And that's pretty much it. What's funny is when you define these uh, catalogs here at the folder level, they're called action catalogs and not task catalogs. So we go in here into the action catalogs and we'll create a new one called band ratings. Click create. And once you create it, you're stuck with it. You cannot delete them again. So I'll go back into studio and I will when I create a new band rating, I will assign them to the task catalog called band ratings. So if we run this, we will see the uh, pop-up and we'll enter uh, the name of a band. There we go. And it'll go into this uh, suspended state where it'll wait to resume until I have completed the task and click the resume button in this case. So I go back into my actions in my orchestrator. And we can now see that there's an unassigned task here. And it is, in fact, assigned to the band ratings catalog. So I can assign to myself and open it. And I think they are good. Now submit, confirm. And I can close this task. And we can see that it has now been completed. And again, when we go into Studio and resume the task, it will show us that dialog that we saw in the first video as well. Now, if we scroll down a little bit, we remember maybe from the first video that we had this task action variable here, and that's a value we get back from the task when we perform the task itself. And that is defined inside the form designer as a property on this button here. And this tells us that the task action, when we click this button, will be submit. If we create another button, and we'll do that now, and I'll call this one submit and buy all albums on Amazon, for example, if we really like this artist. It'll still be a, a button of uh, with the action of type submit. We'll change the theme of the button so it just looks a little bit different. And then the field key we will just change to just submit and buy, and then we'll click save. And that gives us another button with a different action result than the original submit button. So if we save the form and close it, we should now be able to, for example, do a switch on the task action that we get back. So if we enter task action into our uh, switch activity and we remember to change the type argument to the correct data type, which is string, we could say that in the default activity, we'll just show a message box with the original rating as we did in the first video. And then we'll add another case uh, where the uh, task action is submit and buy. And in that, we will open a browser and go to amazon.com slash music, I believe is the URL. So if we run this, we should be prompted with the name of the band uh, thing. So we'll enter Eagles hit OK. And before we go to the uh, action center, I'll just set a breakpoint on this switch activity. 
we go to our action center and we refresh and we can see that hopefully there's a new task uh, here ready to be completed i'll assign it to myself i'll say that the eagles are great and instead of just hitting submit i'll uh, hit the submit and buy all albums on amazon button and i'll confirm go back to studio resume my task and wait for it to hit the breakpoint here and once it does that we can expect some of our locals and we can see that the task action now has a value of submit and buy. That means that with a little luck, if we watch our little Internet Explorer icon down here, if I hit continue, it'll open a new browser. And sure enough, we are at amazon.com slash music. So that's how you can use task action to sort of differentiate how your uh, automation reacts. Now there's one more thing we'd like to do, and that is to assign the task to a user without having to do it manually inside Orchestrator. And we'll do that by inserting an assigned tasks activity, and we'll do that after the create form activity and before the wait for form task and resume activity. And this assigned tasks activity takes two parameters. One is a list of user assignments, and one is a list of assignment results. So we'll create that uh, first as a variable. We'll just call them user assignments and it'll be of a type that is list. We'll select list and then we'll browse and we'll browse for another type and that is the task user assignment data type. Click OK and click OK. And we'll see here that we now have a list of task user assignments and we'll instantiate that right away by calling the new list of task user assignment and that means we have a list readily available when we get to that point so we'll create another variable here and that will be the task assignment results and i'll call that one failed assignments and we're actually not going to use that uh, in this uh, video but we'll add it just for, for good measure and that will also be a list of data type task assignment response. There we go. And we'll also instantiate that right away. Like that. So now we are ready to, to fill out these two fields up here. And the first one will, of course, be the user assignments variable. And the next one will be the failed assignments. And if we had any problems assigning these tasks through code, then they would be added to this list of failed assignments. And we could read into that and see what happened. The last thing we need to do is we need to add something to this list of user assignments. And we do that by using the add to collection activity. And the collection that we want to add something to is this, the user assignments. And we will need to change the type argument to task user assignment so it knows what kind of uh, objects does it hold. And then for the item, we'll need to create a new task user assignment object. And we'll do that by calling new task user, oh, sorry, task user assignment. And that takes two parameters. One is a task ID, and we can get that from this task object we have up here. So we'll type in task.id, and then the second parameter is the username or email of the user that we want to assign the task to. And in this case, that will be the user that we've been using all along, like that. So if I run this now, we'll see exactly what we've seen before. We enter the name of a band, we click OK. It goes into this uh, suspended state, ready to resume once the task has been completed. So we go into our orchestrator and we go into our actions and we can see that we have a task here, but it's pending instead of being unassigned. And it says up here at the top, you have been assigned one action. It, it disappeared now. So we can go into this and we don't need to assign it to ourselves like we did the other times. It's already assigned and active and ready to go. So I can just click great, submit, confirm. And now the task has been complete. And if we go back to the studio and resume the task, we will see once we continue from this breakpoint that we completed our task.
So that was a short look at the task catalogs. We looked at task actions. And at the end, we looked at how to assign tasks to users uh, when using Action Center in UiPath. So if you like the video, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you would like to uh, see more videos, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.